Hello YouTube, it's Jerry D in Tennessee. It's talking about the um, I had a I had a um, subscriber ask me a question. Wanna know let's see if I can zoom this in. Rain or rain was asking about some questions about uh, he had a trading view charts account he wanted to be able to connect um, to eTrade give him alerts maybe automatically um, make purchases or buys for him uh, off alerts I, I wouldn't recommend that I don't know if that was his intention I you know I know there's a lot of people that's trying to do um, robot trading uh, creating some scripts that automatically trade for you and that is very very risky <laughs> That is very risky. I will say right up front to try to do your own trading bot But people are doing it people's doing it. Some people's made some money some people's lost some money You better test and test and and test Your script on a test account before you could try to go live with that because again it is a risk and sometimes like it's like if you're doing regular trading the stocks may not do what you expected to do or what the program thought it was going to do based off of what uh, you were checking the the um, the data that you were checking from the stocks so um, it's you know it's, it's like playing a roulette wheel or something you don't you don't know it's just a gamble. You don't know if you're going to win or lose. It's just like flipping a coin. You don't know if it's going to be heads or tails. It's, um, there's a better chance of the stock doing if there's there's news. Um, you know, news is usually the big catalyst. Uh, somebody on Twitter pumping the stock. Uh, looking at the charts, the big thing, uh, the 52-week high, if, they, if they're higher than they've ever been, they seem to still be climbing. The thing is, is they can drop too, uh, you know, uh, fast. <laughs> it dropped like a rock. So just be cautious, okay? Keep what's important important. Uh, I stress that do not trade any money that you can't afford to lose. It might break you. Keep your food on the table. Keep a roof over your head. Keep your lights on. Keep clothes on those kids. Don't let those kids run around naked out there. Uh, especially when we're having red bud winter. That's what we're having here in Sweetwater. It's supposed to get down in the 20s tonight after we had almost spring-like weather the past week. It's crazy. Crazy. People are getting out in shorts this past week, and it's going to be in the 20s tonight. And this is the anniversary of the blizzard of 93 we had in Tennessee. So uh, a lot of people are chattering about that out on Facebook and, and such. So anyway, let's get the business here. Uh, he was asking... He wrote a pine script. Is that what he said? He wrote a pine script code on TradingView, which is which is um, the language that you use on TradingView for charts, from what I understand. They want to convert it to work on E-Trade, API Auto Trading. Can I do that? Well... I've got some thoughts. Depending on what you're checking, if you're checking like, um, if it's been up five percent percentages and stuff like that, they do have one thing you could do. This is what this is one of my thoughts is if you use E Trade has a stock uh, screener. If you go log into your account, click on stocks, and if you drop down on the menu here. On stocks, there's a stock screener you could come up with. Okay, when you're in portfolio, there's a ton, there's a ton of things that you can set on what you want the screener look for. If it's a five five percent spike on the day, fifty two week high, um, EPS growth annual, revenue growth annual. There's a there's a ton of stuff that you can set on the screener and you can pretty much almost mimic stocks to trade 
I, I was in stocks to trade for a while, and the thing about stocks to trade, they give you some spikes. They'll tell you what the spikes are. And the good thing about what stocks to trade, and this is not a paid advertisement, and I'm not downing them in the least. It is a good product. Um, I'm getting close to retirement, so I'm getting a little more cautious about stuff, less risk taking. So, um, Stocks of Trade, their their big deal is they're they're tied into Twitter, so they're looking if there's a stock going up, their application will go out and show you the tweets for that stock. You can click on a tab, it'll show you all the tweets that's been tweeted about the stock. So they're using the API off the of Twitter to pull in the tweets in the stock of trade where you can see the tweets in stock to trade. And they're also showing you a chart on the stocks that's spiking. They show you a list of the top gainers. So you can almost imitate this, but you can't tie E-Trade into Twitter like they do about, um, you know, who's who's promoting the stock on Twitter or who's tweeting about it. So, or if somebody's tweeting news, I mean, it may just be somebody talking about a news release. They also are tied into news, too. They'll show you the news releases for the stocks as well. But, um, and maybe a few other things. I think there's different things. I, if you get into an upper level, you might gain a little more information. And I can't remember off the top of head, my head what it is. But um, I guess my point is you could take what you're checking in the, for the charts and pine on trading view, the indicators that you're looking at. You could probably set the same settings in the screener, the stock screener, and you can save. You can save it this button right here save screens you can save this the information once you set up what you want to screen and give it a name and you can always pull it up on a daily basis or probably just leave it up and just refresh the page periodically it may refresh on its own it's been a while since i played with this i did a video on setting this thing up to get a five percent to find five percent gainers because i was trying to i was trying to figure out what they were watching on um on stocks of trade to get their stuff, uh, get get their list of stocks, and um, because I was getting frustrated, like I said, some of the stocks that was coming up on the list, E Trade doesn't offer for me to trade. So, um, so not all brokerages are the same. <laughs> I found that out. So, uh, you know, TD Ameritrade might offer to some of the stocks that I couldn't trade on E Trade, and and. Um, it may depend on what it's changed that the stocks are on, too. So, anyway, so this is an option that you consider. Uh, taking your taking the criteria, plugging it into a stock screener here on E-Trade. If, you, if you're trading on the E-Trade platform, you could do that. Now, you can go into, um, that being said, you can go in and you can write. And hit the web service, but it looks like this. Let me see. Um, alerts market. If I go to market, you can get quotes. There's web. They have different web service URLs that you hit. So you need to to do this to really get this to work. You need to be probably pretty decent at programming application an application to uh, hit a web service and you could probably I mean I've not tried it but if you're like a .NET because all this stuff is, is just run off a of web service so if you go mimic the same code off the um, what I what I say what I run I run um, JSON was one of the one of the things that I played around with there's a Java API um, there's Python. There's three different examples. So most of the languages on on hitting a web service are pretty much the same. A web service is a web service. You just got to know how to use the web service in the computer programming language that you're using. So if you're sticking with one of the APIs, um, one of the examples with um, eTrade, be it Java, be it JSON, be it um, Python. I would um, 
you could do it. You could do that. You could pro. You can't tie. You can't tie it to Trader View because Trading View does not allow retail investors to access their API. It's for um, other brokerages and exchanges to access their stuff. So, um, and I mentioned that in my comment, my reply to uh, to him. So, um, you could put, you could write you a script to alert you to certain stuff and you could potentially now e trade allows you to do buys with their api you can actually set an order and i would test i would test 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 on the sandbox before i even try to make it go live because again um the stock may not do what you want it to do and the indicators may may look good but the stock may tank I'll, for some who knows reason maybe somebody dumped had a bunch of shares they knew something was happening and this is just a for, in, for instance an example i mean it may not happen but it could somebody bought in at a cheap price like uh, i did a, i did a video on a on a uh, biotech stock today and they were up 200 percent but that same stock could have dropped 200%. It could have spiked for like five or 10 minutes and then somebody that got into that stock, it went from $6, under just under $7 to uh, $23, $24. So somebody might could have bought in that had a bunch, a bunch of shares. Somebody could have had a bunch of shares, for instance. Bought in at $6.00. It hits $24 and they, they dump like several million shares. Bam. Just right, just bam. Just right out, just out of the blue because they're taking the profits. But they're taking, they're taking the, uh, the bid on the sale. They're taking the bid or the market price. And as they're taking the market price, that price of that stock's dropping because the cheapest bids is what it's going to take as it's going down, as it's selling down the shares. And that can cause a price to drop like a rock. If somebody sells enough shares, if there's more than one person, if there's like 5, 10, 15 people doing that, that could drastically affect the stock. It could be more than that because there's there's no telling how many people that's trading on a particular stock at a given time. It's, 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 you know, it's hard for you to know how many people's trading. But... Um, the thing is, you could possibly you could with the E Trade API. You can I don't think you can tie it into there. There's Trading View and E Trade's not going to allow you to hook into both of their interfaces with both their APIs. And again, Trading View looks like they don't allow retailers uh, to have access to the API as E Trade does. And there's probably a reason for that. Um, but you could, you could potentially set up, I would, I would look at, I would play around with the screener and the, the, the information that you're looking at on your, um, Pine script, find that information in here and look at, look at what, set the values that you're looking for in the stock screener and see how that comes up would be where I would start and see if you can get that to work for you and see if it matches what you're seeing on trading view what what's coming up all right the next thing is you can't you can't do a chart there's there's nothing that I've seen to where you can actually manipulate the chart but this will give this will give you a list of stocks based on your criteria right here and then you can click on the tickers as you come up with a list and you can look at their chart. But um, going back to the API, a lot of the API looks like it's geared for options. Look at product, get options chains. So when it looks like So you're going to have to call a different um, web service based on what you want to do. You're going to have to have an order web service set up, which is a different section of code. And you're going to have to look up product 
Let's see, there's market. Where did I see this stuff? Um, okay, so if you go get the quotes, you can go look at the, the high, the 52-week high, the low, the 52-week low. So a lot of the stuff you're going to see in that screener, you're going to see that is available in the API that you could go pull. Um, a lot of the information you can pull up. So you can bring up in a like a command window, you can pull up a list of stuff. But you're not going to be able to tie it into your charts on E-Trade that I know of. I'm not seeing anything to give me an indication that you can do that or you can even build a chart off the API. But you can look at the same data points that you're using to trigger your um, your trading view chart script. The, whatever your chart scripts look, you could look for the same data points in this script you could potentially, and I would cautious, I would test, test, test. Once, once all your criteria is met, and you think that you wanted to buy the stock, I would take that stock ticker, and I would take, and I would call the order and place the order. Now again, the order may not go through too. That's something else you got to look at because when you place the order, it's going to sit there till it till. There's a bid, there's a bid or a um, or an ask that's going to hit your price. It's going to sit there till a bid or an ask. So there is potential if you do this that your order could, might you may place the order, but it may not go through because if the if the prices are changing so fast going through the list so fast and i believe there's some older videos about one or two years ago where i was watching some of these stocks from some of these pump and dumps that um, tim Sachs was following and buying into the price action happens so fast your order price may not be within the limits of what the bid and the ass are and it may not execute so um that's another thing you need to consider so that might save you <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, so that that might save you. So if you're buying at a certain price and it it drops, you think it's going to go up and it drops instead of going up and it's lower than what you you uh, well no it won't either because your order if it drops lower than what your order's for your order's going to go through if it drops. It's just if it's higher, you won't be able to buy it unless unless you raise your your order. So if it's lower, it's going to go through. So uh, that might that might get you in at a cheaper price if that happens if it drops. But um, I mean, you could definitely try. You could try to take the same. I would look at the what you're looking at in your pine script. The same data points. I would find them. I would I would I would play around with them. See what see what matches here. See if you're going to get the same results in a screener. While I'm writing the code with the API and play around on the sandbox and see what happens. But that's how that's how I would proceed. But you can't directly take the Pine script and you're not going to be able to connect straight to E-Trade. And that might not have been what you were asking. That's the way I took it when I first saw it. Um, I was in the middle of something for work and saw that you sent me the message. Um... But you can definitely the all the pieces are there in the API to auto trade. But you got you've got to realize, like I said, your order might get it may get hung up. It may s just sit there. You need to monitor it. You really do if you have something like you need to watch see what it's doing. But um, I wish you luck. Uh, it's interesting. It, timid, it intimidates me because I you know you got to realize you. It is a risk. You can get stuck in a stock if you don't watch it. But 
you could take you could take the same logic and throw it into the API, but you're not going to be able to tie the pine. Yeah, you're not going to be able to tie the pine to it. But I think you just want to rewrite it on the eTrade API. But if you go look at the docs, the docs, um, you need to know how to access or write a um, consume a web service. If you're not in, if you're not familiar with consuming a web service, there's I know you can find videos on YouTube on how to consume a web service. There's videos on people doing it in VB, and I kind of imagine if you have the token, if you have a token, and you're um, your um, account is kind of live on eTrade. As long as you have the proper token, you could probably do it in VB or some other language and it would still work just hitting the same web service because that's all this is. This is all this is, is hitting a web service. They give you the URL. <clears throat> they give you the URL and usually if you hit the URL, let's hit this in the browser and see what it does. No, it's not going to let me, it's not going to let me, a lot of times if it's an open open web service, you're going to have to have the token to talk to it. So it's not going to tell me nothing unless I pass a token and authenticate. So you'd actually, you actually will have to write a script to get any information back out of it. And you're going to have to follow the instructions here. But as long as you request a token and you you connect and pass a token to them, I think you're probably going to be good. Now, they might have some security stuff where they're only going to allow a Java application or a um, JSON or something like that, too. I'm, I don't know if they've... Um, not sure how they've got their security set up. But with the examples that they put out, <clears throat> on their website that you can download off the developer site, I think that will give you a good start to do what you want to do. I, I would use the same logic, hit the same data points that you're hitting for Pine. If you really seriously want to try it, and I'm not telling you to try it, I'm telling you to be cautious if you do try, if you do try it. But find, look at the look at the documentation, see if you have the same data points to check. And then go from there, and then write your code accordingly. But I think uh, I think they have just about everything that you can check on the screener over here. It, instead of writing something, you may just want to run this screener every morning. Whenever you're you want looking, you want to look at the stocks run. Save 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 a certain setup configuration on your screen or what your data points are and and this thing gets gets I mean this thing's detailed. So anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. Um I wish you the best of luck. I appreciate you asking me about that. I've not played with it enough. I've not actually created a real order with the API. So Stocks have been crazy lately, and I've got a, I've had a lot of stuff going on at work. It is just life has just been busy, so I I've just had time to play around with the API, and I just thought it was neat. I was a developer, and it kind of piqued my kind of kind of grabbed my interest, and um, I decided to give it a try, and that's why I did the videos for E Trade. It was not a paid advertisement or anything like that. They they may not even know that I did the videos. <laughs> they might they may not even be aware that I have them out there. They may not even care. But anyway, um, that's my thoughts. I think you could do it. You just still have to take the criteria in your Pine script and and match up the same data points that's on E Trade. I think it'll work. I think you can do it. It's a possibility. But again. It's not guaranteed you're going to get good trades. I'd be cautious with it. Anyway, that being said, I wanted to reply to this question. And um, 
uh, give my thoughts about it, but um, E-Trade does have a set of tools out there for the retail investor to play around with. And if you're a developer, you might want to look at the developer site and um, the APIs and stuff. So uh, I think it's neat that they have that option in there. But I think most of this was intended for... If you have a company and you're going live on the stock market and you want to put your stock price on your website, I think this is a way that uh, that they give um, companies um, access to their where they can have live stock price information for their particular stock on their own web website, and that's that's how they do it. A lot of brokerages will have an API like this if it be. Uh, Scott Trade, or if it'd be uh, TD Ameritrade, and most of them, Fidelity, most of them's gonna have an API that you can access. They might have more restrictions than E-Trade. Uh, they, yeah, they, depending on the company, they might restrict who they give access to the API, API but most of them's gonna have something like that for uh, companies to do this. And, you know, I just like the fact that E-Trade give the retail, uh, a retail person like me, I'm not a big corporation or nothing, they give me access to the API to play around with it. They were fine with it. And they're like, you know, you have to sign an agreement, an electronic sign of an agreement saying, I do realize I could lose money using this API. <laughs> you have to admit, yes, I do realize I could lose money doing this. This could be a bad thing. So... Keep that in mind, be cautious, and test, test, test. I'd test on the sandbox. I'd be really, I would, you can't test enough with code when you're writing computer code. Because there's usually, there's a lot of times there's stuff that could come up that you won't even think about. I mean, it's just crazy. But anyway, that's my two cents. I'm going to quit rambling, but uh, I, I wish you luck. And um, hopefully you'll get, uh, get the script going and... Um, I hope I hope you can make some money with it if you can make it work out. There's a lot of if you ever try search for trading bot on YouTube, there's all kinds of people that you'll get advertisements want to sell you a service to a trading bot to do trades for you. But I am I am hesitant to do something like that. I am hesitant because they may just be making money off of selling you the service, and you they you may lose your whole life savings if you don't watch it so be cautious be cautious don't trade what you can't afford to lose start with a small amount and try to build it up is the best way to do start with a small amount and just start building on it you know you have small wins and and go from there anyway that's my two point my two cents on the whole uh, topic I wish you luck. I, I think it can be. I'm not going to tell anybody you can't do it because it can be done, but uh, I'd just be cautious doing it. Anyway, everybody have a good night. I appreciate you watching the video, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.